Hey everyone and welcome to this week's edition of the Davidson Football Player Spotlight powered by Wade Associates. This week we're joined by junior quarterback Tyler Phelps. Tyler, how's it going? Going well. Glad to be here. This past Saturday, a loss to San Diego, now 1-1 one one in PFL play, 4-2 and two overall. What do you think this team learned from this past Saturday? Um, yeah, I think, um, I think we learned what a big game is supposed to feel like, honestly. Um, you know, this program hasn't had many of those um, in a long time. And yeah, this Saturday, San Diego was uh, ready to go and playing like this was a, was a championship game. And, um, you know, we, we fought hard for a half and in the second half we uh, didn't do what we were supposed to do, but there's a lot of things on film that, that we've already learned from and uh, are excited to work on going forward. So. That first half, you guys went to the locker rooms, tied at 17. What did the offense do well that first half? Um, I mean, we just, I mean, we did what we were supposed to do. You know, we um, converted on some big third and fourth downs that we needed to convert on. We kept the chains moving. Um, and yeah, at the end of the day, we punched it in the end zone in the first half and we didn't in the second half. And that was the difference. For you, 13 and 19, 170 yards. That's the most completions you've had in a game since Coach Scott Abel arrived at Davidson. Was that a point of emphasis in practice, the passing game this week? No, um, I mean, it, not any more than it is any other week. Um, Coach Abel has really helped me uh, develop into an option quarterback and without really taking away what I can do passing the ball. Um, I think we just maybe needed it a little more in certain situations this week than we, than we normally do, and, and that's why the completions were there. But, um, yeah, I mean, they were trying to take away some things in the run game and giving us some things in the pass game, and uh, we took advantage of it. So. You, you mentioned that development into an option quarterback. This is year two now mm -hmm. in this new offense that Coach Abel has brought to Davidson. How have you grown with that offense? Um, I mean, yeah, I've, I've uh, spent a lot of time with him just – learning how to look at the game from an option perspective. Um, last year I was really more focused on my position um, and making sure that I was taking the right footwork, that I was reading the right people. Um, and this year we've spent a lot of time just looking holistically at, at defenses and offenses and um, you know what certain defenses are giving us and what they're trying to take away. So for me that's been my biggest uh, area of growth from, from year one to year two is just you know, trying to look at a big picture instead of just my position. And taking that big picture and looking at those defenses, that kind of dictates which guys you go to, what kind of read you make. Yeah, it does. Um, and we have a lot of weapons on offense. So, you know, if um, guys are trying to take away Wesley Duggar running the ball right up the middle, uh, we've got guys like Eli Turner, Khalil Shaw um, on the outside that I can pitch the ball to and, and we can get out in space. And then um, if teams are really focused on the run game, like I already said, you know, we've got weapons outside and Jalen Staples um, and Satchel Moore and Connor Ritchie that really, you know, can take advantage of defenses that want to leave one guy out over, over the top of them and focus 10 guys on the run. So we've got a lot of weapons. Taking a look to this weekend, going down to Florida to face the Jacksonville team. They're 2-4 and four this year. They've started the year 0-2, losses to Dayton, losses to Moorhead State. What do you make of the Dolphins? Um, I think they're a hungry team, right? Um, just like any team would be that's searching for a conference win, I think they're going to come out with a lot of fight. Um, it was a good game last year, and I think, um, yeah, they're, they're going to give us their A game. We're excited about it. Um, we are definitely going to have to bring our best, but we're excited for the challenge. That last year win at Richardson Stadium, 44-37. to 37. What do you remember about that game? Um, you know, I remember us making plays when we needed to. Um, I remember them flying around and, and trying to make plays defensively. And I think that uh, when we go down there, they're going to be um, ready for what they saw last year. And we're going to have to execute uh, to, a, to a high level and, and be ready for a fight. For you, it's a bit of a homecoming of sorts. You're from Florida, but nowhere near Jacksonville. You're yeah. from the Panhandle area. It's about five hours to the west of Jacksonville. It's actually kind of like equidistant from where we are at yeah. Davidson. Five hours south of here, five hours east of where you grew up. But do you have any friends, family coming out to Jacksonville this weekend? Yeah, I do. I actually have uh, a couple buddies that are going to school in the Jacksonville area. Um, one of my buddies, Parker Baines, I played high school ball with. He was my receiver, one of my receivers in high school. 
Uh, he was texting me last night, hey man, uh, I'm gonna be there this Saturday. And uh, so I'm excited to see them. I got some family coming over from the Panhandle, but like you said, it's, it's about the same distance from, from here as it is from home. But um, yeah, I'm excited. All right, Tyler, best of luck against Jacksonville this weekend, and thanks so much for taking the time today. Thank you. You can keep up with everything Davidson football by listening on the Davidson Radio Network, DavidsonWildcats.com, or by following along on Twitter, at DavidsonFB. This has been the Davidson Football Player Spotlight. Many thanks to Tyler Phelps. I'm Jake Eisenberg, and we'll see you next week.